always something happening in footy cage. Todd Viney, of course, mm. announcing that he's going to leave the club after two seasons, going back to Melbourne as the development coach. Still had a contract, of course. Uh, family reasons, yeah. wants to get his young son Jack set up there for year 12 and of course father-son rule at Melbourne but where does that leave the Crows coach? Well it's a massive loss, there's no doubt about that because uh, the, the, the talk was that uh, when Craigie decided uh, enough's enough that uh, Todd Viney would automatically take over and uh, if you speak to people within the Adelaide Football Club they were very high in their praise for Todd Viney and the job that he was doing there so that's the first point, it is a massive loss now uh, as we've learnt Phil Harper and the Crows have started already to try and um, find a replacement for Todd Vonnie, which will not be easy because we've seen all the movements thus far of the assistant <laughs> oh. coach. It's been it's been quite incredible, General, the, the amount of movement among the assistant coaches. So, hey, it's going to be a difficult uh, time now, but uh, it's a very, very important job. Very important right, job. Yeah, there's been more shift with assistant coaches, <laughs> coach, than there were players in trade, yeah. really, I can tell you that. But exactly. let's have a look at some of the possibilities. Yep. I'll throw some names at you. Nathan Bassett, first year with Nord, did a pretty good job, Cage. Would he be a candidate? I, it'd, it'd have to be a consideration. He did a terrific job with Nord. He started uh, by losing their first four, they were hamstrung uh, with, with, by breaching the salary cap. So look, all in all, Bass did a terrific job. Whether it's a bit soon for him to take up an assistant role with the AFL, that's something they would consider, but certainly he would be someone they would consider. All right, what about Mark Williams? <laughs> Interesting one. The enemy uh, for, for a number of years. Now look, I, I couldn't see Mark fitting in there, to be quite frank. Uh, I, I think Mark will probably go with the Brisbane Lions and it would it, it would be an un, unusual fit, Mark Williams with the Crows. Nah, couldn't see, that. see that one. Nah, All couldn't right. see that one. What about Dean Laidley? Of course, he uh, looked like he might have had a yeah. job with Carlton. That looks like it may have fallen over now. Would he be something, someone that the Crows could consider? Well, you'd probably make a phone call. I, I don't think Dean Laidley would come back to Adelaide now after being here with Port Adelaide. He's gone back to Melbourne for family reasons. So. I really couldn't see him coming back to Adelaide again, so I reckon that would be out of the question. All right, I'll throw a couple of curveballs yep, at you. What on. about Wayne Weedeman? Of course, he's been coaching yep. with Foss Canva, so he's been doing some coaching along the way. Could you see Weed no, fit into that role? No, with all due no? respects to the Weed, great bloke, but no, I couldn't no? see Weed fitting into that. Andrew Jarman? Uh, no, look, unfortunately... Is there, is there bad blood there? I think there is. I, uh, let's be brutally honest yep. here. I, I don't think Adelaide uh, sort of throw their, their heart open to... Uh, Andrew Jarman, and I couldn't see him being approached, no. Would he be good in the midfield? Oh, look, Jars has got something to offer coaching-wise. There's no question about that. Uh, Jars has just got to, just got to change his, uh, his demeanour a little bit. He, he can't be the joker, the, the funny man. Mm -hmm. he's, he's got to put his coach's hat on and stay with that. Look, uh, could I throw this to you? If you put Andrew Jarman in the midfield and said, Jars, you cannot talk to the media. Your job yep. is to concentrate on coaching. Nothing else. I think he'd be happy to do that. But I've got no doubt. Doesn't uh, seem to get his name mentioned. That's no, all. No, it doesn't because I think there's bad blood there. All right, uh, Scotty Burns. Yeah, I like it. Like him a lot. Good, strong, oh. level-headed South Australian. Knows his footy. Knows his caper. Uh, he, he is definitely one that uh, that I'd be making a phone to uh, a phone call to. Uh, did some work with the West Coast Eagles. He's, he, he's a player I would be talking All right, to. I reckon the Crows will make a call if they haven't already. I'd, I'd, find out what he's yeah. on at West Coast and that'll be the I'd end be, of the phone call. I'd be coach. making a phone call for sure. I think he'd be paid exceptionally well over there. So he's now, Adelaide boy. That, that might be a bit of a plus to come back home. All right, let's have a look at some of the past players. And Mark Rusciutio. No, I spoke to Rue last, last Saturday morning on Triple M. He said, I'm not ready yet. I, is I'm he warming to it, coach? He is. He, he will coach. There's no right. question. Okay. But I think it's just a fraction early for Rue. All right, Andrew McLeod. Uh, no, not, I, not I interested. Don't, I don't think uh, coaching would suit Andrew McLeod one little bit. All right, what about Tyson Edwards? Uh, I would say the same. Coaching wouldn't uh, wouldn't uh, wouldn't wouldn't uh, fuss him at all. No. All right. Well, there's some candidates, and there'd be a few that we haven't though. mentioned. Well, the problem is, of course, with Todd announcing it at this stage so, of the so year, late. a lot of the assistant coaches are already gone. Mm. So that's why I'm throwing up just some S Scotty left, Burns outside is my, of left field. I, I like Scotty Burns. I like Scotty Burns too, coach. But I think he's getting paid too much at West Coast. Yeah. Well, you, well, you could you could, you, you, you could make a phone call. Like Todd Viney wouldn't have been cheap. I can give it the strong tip. Todd Viney wouldn't have been cheap. cheap. He came home from Hawthorne, Hawthorne. so he wouldn't be cheap. So uh, I reckon they could financially... Well, they, they could, could have a look at someone in the Geelong coaches box, but there's no one left. Oh, Unless yeah. they recruit Barmy, there's no one I, in the coaches box That is left. a disgrace. Brendan sad, McCartney, got, uh, McCarthy gone. He was uh, what Bombers' right hand man for eleven and years. And contracted now, Cage. What and is just quickly? Just that. quickly. What does the contract mean now? Nothing. I mean, we understand absolutely nothing. Personal reasons, fair enough. That 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 well, can he, make a contract. 
that can change the dynamics. We all agree with that. If you've got family no. reasons, there's an illness, that, your dad's sick or your yeah. mum and you're in one state, I think everyone would understand and accept Correct. that. But if you're in the same state and you've got a contract, to then break the contract and go somewhere else. Is that what we've come to? Are the, we mercenaries now? Oh, it's disgraceful. The Geelong Essendon situation is turning uglier by the minute. Now, if Bobber Thompson down the track announces he's going to Essendon, that'll be the most disgraceful thing that I've seen in football in a long, long time. What about Bomber Thompson? We didn't mention him. Would he be a possibility for the Crows? Nah. Not, well, if, if you read Caroline Wilson's article in today's age... No, that is a ridiculous he made I a don't even know why I asked that question. He, he, he made a commitment in September to go to the Essendon Footy Club. Look, I'm it, still supporting Bomber. I don't think he's going to go, Cage. Well, I he hope said you're he right. was burnt out. I and hope he's you're being right. honest, and that's what he said. I hope you're then right. Then he's not going. But, if he goes, then... He's probably just gone but, about it but, the wrong but way. It seems very strange that his right hand man for eleven years has suddenly pulled the pin on the contract he had with the Geelong mm. Footy Club to go to Western. You lose a lot of credits, Coach. You'll lose a lot of credits that he's built up. Something's not smelling right. I smell a rat. Oh. <laughs>